R P Singh, National Secretary of the B J P, Sunil Kumar Singh, leader of the J D U, the party which uh, has uh, this uh, drunk, ticketless, misbehaving uh, M P uh, M L A, Sarfaraz Alam, Shrikant Reddy of the Y S R Congress, which represents a party which uh, you know which has a leader who was uh, assaulting and um, you know an official at an airport, an airport manager. And who's now been arrested? Ashwini Kakkar was with us the day we broke that story about the MP who slapped an a, an airport official. Padma Rao, senior journalist, joins me, and Shailesh Gandhi is with us in the studio. Okay, uh, you want to say something first, at the start? Uh, Go ahead. Uh, yeah. On this public forum, I want to compliment first of all the media, more so Times now, and most of all uh, Arunab Goswami here <laughs> for taking up cudgels against this culture of entitlement. I think. Without the media, we would have been in a bigger soup than where we are. And I think the most brilliant thing that is happening is that the media in general and specific people like uh, the ones that I mentioned are actually taking this fight down to the streets and representing the common man. And the common man has a voice today, and we are able to express our anger, express our feelings. That you know, the people who are elected to rule are actually servants of the public and cannot and should not uh, uh, you know do these kind of things they must instead lead by example right on the 27th of november you was with us in the studio and i'd like to put this to shrikant reddy if you can hear me please though the video appears to be a bit smudged uh, mr reddy you can hear me Mr. Reddy, you're there. Yeah, I hear you now. Yeah, so your your member of parliament has been arrested. You remember we broke that story uh, uh, no, about 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 a YSR Congress MP assaulting an Air India official. That was one month and twenty days back. At that time, you completely <coughs> defended him. Now that man has been arrested and he is in jail. We are so happy for that. How do you feel, sir? I know it's a cliched question, but how do you feel at having been proven wrong? The media is right. The citizens of this country are right, and a member of parliament has been arrested for assaulting an uh -huh. Air India official. Would it not have been better for you to have owned up in the first place? Because to be to be arrested kicking and screaming is less honourable than being arrested after acknowledging no, that you we did something really, which was you, indefensible. You, yes. Exactly, Anup. The law has taken its course. Sure, Arnab. I'm really very happy. Like uh, every day, I follow your show, and the truths what you are saying in your uh, debate is really uh, I appreciate that. And first, one thing, uh, Arnab. I'm MLA represent the same Midun Reddy parliamentary constituency. See, one thing is here. Our party we never supports like uh, <coughs> such kind of politicians who are who did in Bengal. Bengal. Are we talking? The video is frozen. The video is frozen. It's not deliberate. We are not censoring the politician involved. But I find it very strange. You talk about Hyderabad. Everyone talks about Bengal. We reported what happened in Bengal. But I don't see what's happening in Bengal. What link it has to have to a member of parliament who assaulted an airport official? Padma, do you? Do you, Padma? Exactly, exactly Padma. No, I, I, I'm really no, no, happy. He's back. He's back. He's back. How you are reporting in your? Anna, Anna, I'm here. I'm here. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, Mr. Rajeshwar Airport officer, the Midun Reddy came the same time from the Hyderabad flight to Tirupati. The pa when they saw Midun Reddy, the passengers went to him and said, the airport officer is misbehaving with the passengers. On top right. of it, there is uh, relatives of Mr. Midun Reddy. A couple of relatives, I think, is uh, auntie. So immediately, Mr. Yeah. Mithun Reddy went to the airport officer. Who is Mithun Reddy? Some local, some local goon, gunda? Who is, no, no, who is Mithun Reddy? The CCTV footage that the media accessed 19 days after the incident shows that the Air India station manager was being beaten up by the MP and his supporters. I, I don't think... I, no, 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 I think, I think I'm sorry. No, no, Mr. Mr. Reddy, Mr. Reddy, audio is, your audio video is not clear tonight. But I think the moral of the story is this, that, you know, we, the media is going to go off after you if you try to think you get away. It's simple as this, Shailesh Gandhi. And the media is going to go after you. 
and I don't care how much pressure you put, how much pressure know, politicians not, put. We are going to go after you things, if we think you're mistaken. Shailesh Khan, Shailesh Khan, Shailesh Khan. This is complete arrogance. And let me tell you the details of the Rajasthan incident where Aruna Roy spoke because I spoke yeah. to some of those people there. Yeah. Mr. Kaur Meena, with a gang of goons, with a gang of goons, beat up these people very badly with lathis, and there are video yeah. clips of that. I'll show the videos and RPC on the screen. But yeah. there is a complaint of 2005 yeah. against him, where he took a gun and held it to the head of the SDM. Yeah. There are 15 such cases. Yeah. We've all been trying to wonder why did he resort to such violence. Yeah. This is the chief minister's constituency. Yeah. And what was this agitation about? The agitation was saying Jawab Dehi. Yeah. Accountability and recording grievances. Yeah. I think the chief minister is probably encouraging this. And do you know there is an absurd law in Rajasthan or rule which says an MLA cannot be proceeded against by the police. Yeah. Until the state government tells the CID, he yeah, is caught free. The, the question in this case is very simple. Mr. Uh, Mr. R.P. Singh, please tell us. You've seen the footage out there. I put it on the screen. There's no point saying it did not happen. You have an MLA from the BJP who's leading a mob, breaking cars, wielding lattes, attacking social activists. Till now, your state government does not seem to find this man. Where is the BJP government in Rajasthan? Where is your state, sir? Where is your government machinery? Why don't you have this man in lockup? You want to wait for one more month till the media puts up a little bit more pressure? I think the uh, where the government misses uh, is missing the fourth state is there to take care. The Times Now is there to take care of that. But that point aside, so, so let, this let MLA. No, no, but Times Now is not the government. We are only reporting the case. So you are being your. Sir, no need to be sarcastic. Sir, no need to be sarcastic. We are doing our job, but where is the state government doing its I'm job? I'm not sarcastic. I'm, yeah, I'm not sarcastic. I'm appreciating your part. But issue is, case has been filed against the affair has been filed against the MLA. No. no. Eleven people have been arrested. This MLA has been asked to come for the inquiry. What do you mean so asked to come? Why is he not I mean, being picked up? Don't bother if he's involved. No. No, 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 no. no. I, he, think, I think, I think, I think, Shailesh wants to debate. The, the, the state has to give permission. Involved, Sir, you involved, do not He, he will be, he will be, he will be taken to task. Don't bother. How are you giving such people tickets? Have you ever asked yourself? Are you giving complete rank criminals a person who held a gun at an SDM's head in 2005? He has 15 criminal cases against him, and these are not cases of protesting. No, 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 let, let me let me explain them. Not a single, not a single case proven in the court. I mean, there can be cases. Like, there's 40 cases against me. How does it matter until I'm proven in the court oh, of oh, law? Oh yes, so, sir, wonderful. It doesn't matter. Me, no, no. Sir, you, you, are, you, are, are, you are not displaying. No, no issue is. You are displaying your convictions. Case, cases don't matter. Sir, so my my my, my, no, my point tonight, which I am asking the law is taking its course. No, no, no. One second. What law is it? 2005, there is a case of a person holding a gun at the head of a public servant. And what law is taking its course over 10 years? And, 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 and fundamentally, fundamentally, my broader question tonight is with all seriousness, I want to ask you, the media is here, but where is the state? Where are the state governments? I mean, we have seen this instance from Bengal over the last one week where a Trinamool Congress leader's son just runs over an Air Force personnel, Today. runs him over, runs him over in, an, in, a, in a luxury car. There is no worth to the life of that Air Force personnel, it seems. Lip service we pay to our servicemen. And you know that, what's his name? That, that fellow from the Trinamool Congress, Derek O'Brien. He gives us a lecture there when our reporter is asking for questions and asks us what our journalistic ethics are. Where are his political ethics tonight? Where are, where are the political politi where are the political ethics of Derek O'Brien and other leaders of the Trinamool Congress? The people of in India should ask people like Derek O'Brien tonight. Today you can kill a person in the presence of security. You can tear the makeshift number plate and evidence that would trace the perpetrator in the presence of security. You can run away and go underground in Bengal for four days without a murmur of whereabouts all the way where there are reportedly security personnel deployed at the scene of the crime. And the state is yet to explain Mr. Derek O'Brien if you're watching tonight because I don't think they have the guts to come on this channel. 
The fact is, it is the state that is yet to explain how it failed to trace Sambia Sohrab, the main accused in this case, given that there are reports claiming that all mobile call records showed that the entire family is only a stone's throw away from the accident spot just hours after it took place. It is shameful today what has happened in Bengal tonight. So we are asking, where is the state? Absolutely. It's an absolutely legit question to ask. Is the arrogance, it's the political arrogance of people like Derek O'Brien, which has unfortunately begun to show that they think they are too self-important to answer questions. Yes, please. These are the same people who pontificate on other I'm issues tonight. But, 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 but honestly, but honestly, honestly, look at these pictures tonight of how that, how that Air Force personnel was run over. No, le there are six days since this incident happened. I want to run these pictures full frame tonight, if I may. The state of Bengal, Mr. Derek O'Brien, in case you don't understand this simple language, fails by taking 80 hours to track down the main accused, who happens to be a Trinamool leader's son. He mows down an Indian Air Force Corporal Abhimanyu Gaur on the morning of January 13th in a state of inebriation. He was drunk. The Trinamool Congress today says he's a minor political activist. Do I need to show the Trinamool Congress and Mr. Derek O'Brien the pictures in Kolkata during the Calcutta Municipal Corporation elections in May 2015, in which the accused father is perched on a campaign jeep with Calcutta Mayor candidate Shovan Chatterjee and another Trinamool candidate? Do the Trinamool Congress representatives, even if they don't have the guts to come on this channel, have any conscience tonight? That when one of your politic politician's British son kills an Air Force personnel, you just disown him and say, let's get on with He's it. I, I'm, I'm just, I wonder tonight whether people of dead, like Derek O'Brien even have a heart tonight. Or, or they can just say, you know, when we're asking them questions, oh, it is our fault that we ask them the questions. It's absolutely ridiculous. Yes, Ashwini, you were saying even something. Even so, there. even look at today's case, Sarfaraz Alam, yeah. who is... Uh, a, a JDU uh, leader, now he gets into a train without a ticket, is completely drunk, molests a girl, a, a lady, I mean, and they are traveling as a family. Unbelievable. You know, who is answering these yeah. questions? And no, 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 and in the case of Abhimanyu God, 21 year old corporal in the Indian Air Force to Miss Mamta Banerjee and Derek O'Brien. Please know Ms. Banerjee and Mr. Derek O'Brien. It was the media that brought the CCTV footage into the public domain. It was the media that relentlessly questioned the West Bengal government for its laxity in the case, which involves a relative of a member of a ruling party. I have the courage to admit that tonight. But the media is not the state. And the state gets bothered when the media speaks for the people. Actually, the state is not bothered. These politicians are not bothered, Shailesh. These politicians, some, these, poli these politicians, yeah, these politicians are. Right you have you have an Air Force corporal rehearsing for the Republic Day of India, January 26th. The politicians are not angry. The politicians are nervous because they know that there may be one side of the pliant media, but there's also the other media which keeps the focus on this case because a young Indian Air Force personnel cannot be run over by the son of a powerful politician Who's and then hope to manage the system. The system is not there to be managed. And the media is not there to be managed. The problem with these politicians is they're used to media they can manage. Padma Rao, please. Padma Rao. Adnab, thank you. I have two points to make regarding all the cases that we've been talking about, which are all absolutely horrendous, one worse than the other. The first point is criminals in politics. There was a speaker earlier on who said something about, oh, you know, uh, it doesn't really matter. The, po the whole point is we are one of the few countries where we still have, despite the Supreme Court judgment of 2013, which disqualifies MPs, but only when they are convicted of a crime. I think this law should be much, much tighter. All politicians with the slightest trace of crime records, to, they are not even to be allowed to run for elections. Look at the stats. In the 543 member Lok Sabha, 30% have criminal cases against them. No, I'd, I'd go, I'd go specific, you know, cases. I'd go specific, and Padma, is, yeah, Padma, Adnab, Padma, 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 I'd go yeah. specific, I'd, I'd go specific tonight and my specific. point is, no, no, I, I'd go very specific, specific in this case for the last the three days. No, 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 I'm sorry, Padma, I'm sorry to intervene. 
Criminals. And we, what statistics Criminals. do we need in this country? One second, Padma. What statistics do we yeah. need? We, don't we don't are, need we are a country. Statistics. We are a country. I mean, for the last three or four days, you have a young 21-year-old Indian Air Force personnel who is preparing for the Republic Day Parade, a drunk Trinamool Congress leader's son, just goes and drives him over. And this Derek yeah. O'Brien says, when we ask him a question, you want cheap footage? We don't want cheap footage. We are questioning your ethics, Mr. O'Brien. Yeah. We don't want, no, no, we don't want footage. We don't want your footage. Nobody's interested in your footage. I'm asking you, Derek O'Brien, where is your conscience? <laughs> You ask a journalist, a reporter who's asking you, what is your state government doing? I am asking you, what is your duty? What is your accountability? Because you know, Mr. Derek O'Brien, that you don't have the courage to answer these questions. Because if you did, then I can tell you that a hit and run case, which involves a politically connected case, it is not the job of the media to track down the key witness's brother to bring forth the narrative that the Trinamool Congress leader who's absconding as of today has been allegedly calling and threatening the family. These are the facts of the case tonight. But no, these leaders don't want straight questions from journalists. And I, I'm asking you viewers, what do you say of a situation today? The whole country should stand up and fight for what happened to Abhimanyu God. Abhimanyu God did not die in another accident. Abhimanyu God died because the egos and sense of self-importance of some relatives of politicians has gone out of control, that they think they can go drunk and just drive over an Air Force personnel just like that and walk away. And Mamta Banerjee, who talks of Ma Mati Manush, looks the other way. So I'd now like to go to the JDU representative on the other shocking story tonight. The other shocking story tonight, Sunil Kumar Singh, is of a JDU, MA, JDU MLA. You've heard of him, Sarfaraz Alam. You want me to tell you what what he did? Are you aware of what he did, or should I share with the viewers tonight what he did? Not an MLA. Yes. What is he? What is he? Arnab, I am not an MLA. Not you, not you, Sarfaraz Alam. Is Sarfaraz Alam a legislator of your party? Yeah, 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 yeah. I have my facts right. Why do politicians jump so quickly to see if I've got my facts wrong? My facts are right, usually. Sarfaraz Alam is a JDU legislator. He was drunk on a train. Yeah. With ticket. Okay? He was, he was traveling without tickets. Without right? a ticket. Right? Without a ticket. He was traveling without a ticket. And he was traveling with two, you know, bodyguards. chamchas of his. Or bodyguards. I don't know who they were. And then he started misbehaving with a woman passenger on the Rajdhani Express. Are you aware of what he did? Are you aware of what he did? Uh, can I speak now? No, no, no. Are you what? No, no. Are you aware of what he did? Can I speak now, Mr. Arnav? The MLA who was drunk starts no, no, trying, to say, trying to yeah. trying to you know he starts passing <coughs> all kinds of sexually colored remarks against a lady passenger. Drunk, ticketless, potential you, molester. A fire has been lodged against. If I has been lost, standard has been language. Lost against the I'll Jokihat open the phone MLA. lines tonight on this debate. If I has been lost against Jokihat MLA, yeah. and <coughs> SP Rail is conducting a thorough inquiry into it. I'm and sorry. Report I'm, I think we've heard this before, right? Shailesh Gandhi. No, this is what infuriates us. And, this is what infuriates and us. And the law will take its own course. Absolutely. Fantastic. Fantastic, you are See, all let shameless. Me, let me complete. Let, let, how, how is an MLA of first. yours of this caliber? No, let me. Do you feel ashamed that you have an MLA like this? He's certainly leading no, by example. Me, huh? No, no, no. Let, let you me, have 44 no, 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 one criminals let me I, I'm telling out you, of 145 I'm, elected I'm you, JDU you MLAs, first. you have 45 serious criminals. What are you talking? You well know the kind of people no, no, uh, no, that no, are this, amongst your party. This, no, no, what's were it not for the media? No, 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 no I'm sorry. Kind of, this kind of, kind of, this you kind get of away with often it. remark, this kind of often remark is not acceptable. This kind of often remark is not acceptable. Don't be judgmental. What Who's I'm being judgmental? Is, okay, Who's being judgmental? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, one second. One second. No, no, one second. I want Ashwini Kakkar on the screen, please. Sorry. I don't want any statistics tonight. Time and time again, we've heard the same old, uh, you know. I'm going to open up the phone lines now. Which says that, you know, lines oh, open. Will the law will take its own course. Uh, are we yeah. expecting our leaders to be like this? Are, are, are you choosing your party members like this? 
are these people leading the nation by example no, but, what why, is going no, on no i i think no. i think i think i'll tell you i'll tell you who's being don't judgmental don't tonight don't i'll tell you who's being judgmental don't tonight sunil don't kumar don't singh judgmental. sunil kumar singh the government is being judgmental tonight nitish kumar nitish kumar is being judgmental tonight because a jdu mla has not been arrested a jdu mla one second sunil kumar singh i i don't understand what kind of change you want to bring in india i'm told nitish kumar nitish kumar and your party would like to lead the country please tell me how would you like to lead the country if you have created a situation in which if you have created a situation in which and my simple question to viewers tonight is this one second what where is the state where is the state where is the state where is the state by the government and why do why why are you so judgmental about bihar one second just can i can i please can i please mr sunil kumar singh mr sunil kumar singh wow 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 yeah you're saying i'm judgmental tonight and why am i judgmental i'm going to extend the news are tonight i'll take a break because i have to take a few breaks so i come back and extend this debate tonight so i'm being judgmental tonight but before i go into the break before i before i go into the break i just want to say something and then show some footage of derek o'brien the way he talks to a reporter tonight was well, just a minute the way he talks i put it i put it out in public domain if you want to see political arrogance this is political arrogance at its best we ask a question on what was the state doing when an indian air force personnel was run down and why the state does not appear to be taking tough action if there is tonight an example of political arrogance it is the response it is the sheer response of derek o'brien anyway I I I I I want to I want to tell I share one thing with the viewers tonight. He says don't get cheap footage of people standing outside the home. We'll ask we'll stand outside the home as long as it's required to get politicians to answer questions. Now my my question to you tonight is I think I'm going to open up the phone lines. I I have I have just I have one question please. And the question to all the viewers of News Hour tonight is this. I have just been told by the JDU politician on the panel that I am judgmental because I am asking tonight Why has a politician not been arrested 24 hours after he travelled ticketless, drunk, and made sexually explicit remarks with a lady fellow passenger? He's been booked under five sections and he's still not been arrested. I think it is the state which is being judgmental tonight, and the state is being judgmental with the patience of the people of this country. I'm sorry, Mr. Sunil Kumar Singh. I'm not judgmental. You're being judgmental tonight. I'm coming back after and the break. I, I'm, I, I'm coming back after the break. I, I think the test of Nitish Kumar today is whether or not he arrests this man and puts him inside lockup and personally ensures that the might of the state. This you cannot have a pol politician doing this because I think in this country there'll be a great deal of insecurity and rightly so. If politicians drunk ticketless go and assault women, if Nitish Kumar wants to give a clean chit to this Indian railway minister of this country, then I think we should all take him on. What do you think? Absolutely. I think you know uh, there has got to be a reason why the very same people who, when they were not in power, were absolutely straightforward. They were doing some of them, you know, were doing simple things like this. Derek Derek O'Brien was doing quizzes, but today when he comes into power, he behaves like he is a god. This is unbelievable. Yeah. All power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. you know this is really a sad situation and all a lot of these people belong to the ruling parties is there a message in this the message are we getting arrogant but let me let me give let me give the most bizarre case and this is to rp singh please rp singh i know that you have elections in punjab and that you have to tie up with the badals i mean you can say the badals akali dal is basically the badal this example takes the cake and after this viewers i'll open up the phone lines Reiterating, I'm reading from a news report. Reiterating his commitment to maintain respect and honor of mayors in a befitting manner, Punjab Chief Minister Prakash Sir Badal today directed the Secretary Local Government Department to immediately tie up with the General Administration to get the status and protocol of mayors clearly defined, and thereafter issue necessary guidelines accordingly. Important part is, according to the request of the mayors, I don't know if this is correct, Mr. R P Singh, please listen. the chief minister allowed to use red beacon lal batti lal batti on top of all their official vehicles and ask the principal transport secretary of punjab to immediately issue necessary instructions so that all these mayors can use lal battis what is this mr rp singh the culture of entitlement lal batti culture for mayors now corporators will also use 
No, Mr. R.P. Singh, please respond. This is complete disregard for the yeah. Supreme Court verdict yeah. of December 2013. Adnab. No, I want, I want, I want Mr. R.P. Singh to respond. So he's, he's got to respond to this okay, one. After today. that, I want to. Yeah, but R.P. Singh, I'm, please tell I'm, me. I'm, I'm personally against any sort of beacon for light for any any vehicle, except except the judges or the cheapness. No, but, but isn't the Akali Dal your ally? <laughs> They Aren't you part of the government in Punjab? Walk out of the government in Punjab. Culture of exemptions. No, no, no. I, I, Why can't you no, ever? No, no, no. Why can't you out. ever? I'm, stop I'm using saying, the word except. Why is there we, always an exemption? It has come to the notice. Why is there always the I just come to notice. Is there any controversy in the Supreme Court? It will be dealt with. No, but where is the state? You're waiting for the media to point this out to you, is it? Where is the state? Where were you till oh, now? Uh, that's no, all I these cases. Can make a mistake. No, no, all state these can cases. Make a I'm sorry, I've given so many cases. There is a. No, I'm no, no, done, so R. R. P. Singh. R. R. P. Singh. I'm saying the election will take a R. R. P. Singh, and now now one R. P. Singh. I have, one, I have my question to the viewers tonight is this: In in Bengal, a Trinamool Congress leader's son runs over a Air Force personnel. It seems the media is more interested. The state has gone missing. In point, num point number one. In point, num po po yeah. in point number two. Uh, uh, YSR Congress MP assaults and slaps an a Air India official. The media follows up. The state is missing. Right? Point, num yeah, point, point number three. In Rajasthan, a BJP MLA takes lathis and starts beating up activists and breaking cars. The media follows up. Shoot footage is there. Vasundhara Raja is nowhere to be found. In Punjab... Badal says all mayors will get lal batis. The media picks it up. The you know as far as uh, the government we is concerned, they are nowhere to be found. Case after case after case. And but where is the state? Yeah, where is the? I don't know where the state is. But finally, I am told tonight I was being judgmental because I asked a politician goes and tries to you know molest a, a lady passenger after being drunk traveling on a Rajdhani. And travelling ticketless on the, on top of that, in the JDU, the JDU representative said what that I am being judgmental about it. In that case, we are all judgmental about it. Yes, we are. We are judgmental. We want action on this. We have every right to be judgmental on this. I think we should take a caller tonight. Should we take a first caller tonight? I think so. Okay, Ajay Sharma is calling from Noida on the state being missing. Yes, Ajay. Good evening. Uh, my name is Rajesh Sharma. Okay, Rajesh, go ahead. Uh, thank you, Arnav. You are raising such type of good. Uh, point to this times now. I thanks to all uh, your team. My question to Mr. Nitish Kumar, this kind of MLA, he come with uh, Jungle Raj in this state? Okay, go ahead. Yep, I understand. Yeah. Jungle Raj. What is the action he will yeah. take? So, Sunil Singh. The Sarparaj Nawaz MLA. Yeah, okay. Point and taken. Yeah. Sunil Singh yeah. is responding. What? Sunil Singh is responding. Yes, please. Yeah. Go ahead. Point, point taken. Uh, Mr. Rajesh, uh, Mr. Rajesh, let me assure you that Nitish government is totally committed to Kanun Ka Raj. Yeah, this is Kanun Ka Raj. Has done it. Don't if give me, Mr. don't Jain give me a predictable lines. After proper and thorough inquiry, and the inquiry will be totally impartial. And no, no, I've, I've, the lines are buzzing tonight. Colonel Surinder is calling in. Because Nitish... I am not convinced, sir. Paper, lip service, tell Nitish Kumar to put that man in lockup. And I want to share no, something no, tonight with you. I want to I'm share something tonight with you. I want to I'm share not, something not, tonight which time. which a source has but, told me. We will call you back when... One when minute, one minute, jail. one minute. Two things I'm, I will tell you are now. One minute. That what is the link? has totally put a cut down on the red lal -bhatti. Okay, yeah. tell me one thing. What is uh, this Mohammed Sorab? What is this? This Mohammed Sorab. A liquor ban. Okay. To put a cut Sunil Singh. Down Sunil Singh. Sunil Singh. So Nitish and as far as this is concerned, yeah. One yeah. second, please. Yeah. Why are you getting so worked up? This JDU MLA Sarfaraz Alam. What is this? Which which are who are his other political relatives? Yeah. Is he related to any other po famous politicians of Bihar? My God. Can you tell me who's who is his father? His son of his son of former MP, Mr. Taslimuddin. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, Mr. Taslimuddin. And Taslimuddin is Lalu's protege. Am I right? Look, Taslimuddin. No, no look, no look, no look. Please, no, no looks and buts and ifs and buts. Is Taslimuddin Lalu's protege or not? Just because. No. I'm sorry. This is a test of the state. Is is Taslimuddin Lalu's protege? Look, Mr. Is Taslimuddin Lalu's protege? So the son of Lalu's protege. So I'm sorry, viewers. Please listen to this, viewers. The son of Lalu's protege, drunk and ticketless. Tries to assault and make sexually explicit remarks on a woman in, a, in the Rajdhani train. 
and Nitish can't do anything on it because Nitish knows that if he takes action, then Lalu will take action against him. This is the true test of the state. Our next caller tonight is Colonel Surinder, ex-serviceman from Pathan Court tonight. Colonel Surinder, are you there? Good evening. Yes, please. Uh, Go on, sir. Uh, good evening, uh, Mr. Arno. Good evening, sir. I, we are so grateful. If it was not for a channel like yours, this case of hit and run yeah. at Kolkata would have been brushed under the carpet. Yeah. I am telling you, it is 100%. It is the Eric. pressure from this media like yours which has got the culprit arrested. See, what was the state doing for so many hours, 82 hours, 85 hours? The person has broken three barricades. Yeah, we'll show the pictures, please. Yeah. The, the barricades were there to make sure the troops that are there rehearsing for our great nation, uh, 26th January, Republic Day Parade, clear. they were rehearsing. And you kill a chap who is rehearsing for this nation's great day? He broken three barricades and he goes running and finally you say the pictures on CCTV cameras are not uh, recognizable, they are uh, not clear enough. I am sure this was all stage managed and had it not been pressure from media like yours, this man would not have been arrested. And I am sure I will request uh, uh, this uh, uh, media of ours to keep up the pressure so that the eyewitness comes over ground. Uh, he has gone missing out of fear. He is being pressurized. You know, I we. Hope you will continue to do that. Uh, Colonel Surinder, if I can ask you tonight, you know, when we went asking Derek O'Brien, the member of parliament, he said to our reporter, stop getting fo cheap footage of people coming outside our house when we were asking him questions on this incident. What would you say to Derek O'Brien tonight, sir, and politicians like him, Colonel Surinder? I will uh, request him to stop being so politically arrogant. Power, people should not get drunk on power. Have something humane inside yourself. Don't get drunk on political power. Absolutely. Well, well you know, you they, know get, they get, they, you know, this, this all comes out of tremendous insecurity, that's all. They don't like to be asked questions. It's strange, someone who built a career only asking questions doesn't want to face a single question tonight. <laughs> anyway, Subhash is an activist calling from Nashik. Our, news, our, our lines behind are flooded tonight on the absent state. Subhash, good evening. Good evening, Arnab. How what would you, you like to say tonight, Subhash? Arnab, yeah, my, qu my question is to the whole panel, yeah. including you. you. Yeah. Do you want me to believe all your entire panel, including BJP and blah, 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 everybody sitting there? Do you want me to believe that, you know, this, the, the country, the, uh, the country, uh, the whole of the parliament, the nation, everybody, they don't know where their, their wanted VIPs are absconding. The person from Rajasthan, the minister from Rajasthan, he's sitting Absolutely. in the parliament and the parliament, the uh, state machinery is trying to break, track it down. Do you want me to believe, I mean, whom are you trying to take for a ride here? We, I, this is a democracy, you know, this is what we are born for, to suffer in this country. You know, you everybody know. knows everything. You I, want me to believe that Mamta Banerjee doesn't know the Mal Malta incidents? Of course they do. Everybody knows. Of yeah. course they Everybody do, knows. Subhash. But Everybody Subhash knows what is happening. No, no, Subhash. But only we are born to suffer. Subhash, can I say something? And I'll actually pass this on. I'd like R.P. Singh to respond to you. But I just say one thing in response. You know, Subhash, if Times Now can find out where this footage comes from, if Times Now can find out so much information, you think the government can't? I'm sure they can. But they, but they, you know, but but Subhash, the fact of the matter is in our country, they want, they think public memory is short, that the media and the yeah. public will move on. Yeah. And I want R.P. Singh to answer your question, actually, Subhash. Subhash, R.P. Singh, please answer. Subhash, Nasik se phone kar rahe. He is telling you, how can your government not know where this M Gunda M MLA of yours is, this Kavar Lal Mina, unless you are protecting him. No, oh, he is there. In Where the, is he? Facing the inquiry. He is facing the inquiry. He is there. No, 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 no,
And sir, the chief minister the is not the I'll take it. No. FIA has been filed against him. Sir, Seven not people have been arrested. Inquiry is being held against him. Sir, the so FIA, one second, one second, one back. second. I'm going to open up and continue with phone calls. Now, you're talking about the FIA filed against. The problem with us is that some of us in the media are going to continue to bother you and nag you and contradict you and follow you and track you and take our mics. Please. Our reporters will be called names, but I don't care tonight. Despite the FIR having mentioned this MLA four times in the copy accessed by the media, the MLA has not been arrested two days later. We have a video that shows the MLA assaulting activists and citizens, and instead of booking the MLA under Section 352 of the IPC, punishment for assault or criminal force otherwise on grave provocation, the police is nowhere to be seen. The state with its inaction. And Vasundra Raja writes articles on governance and fantastic things and this and that. Of course, she doesn't want to talk about Lalit Gate. The police is nowhere to be seen. The Vasundra Raja government with its inaction has therefore abetted the assault of activists who are conducting an awareness drive on government accountability, RPC. The problem is this is political bullying. It has to be stopped in our country. Arnab, may I please I, mean, I said I this is a half video which you have. I'll appreciate. Arnab. Let the full footage be shown. And I'm, I'm assuring you that action will be taken against an MLA if he's involved. Are you assuring me? I assure viewers. Viewer shows that. Arnab. I, I'm no, I'm not showing you your viewers also. Action will be taken against an MLA. I, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I will take this call. No, 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 no. RP Singh. RP Singh. RP Singh. Whenever it is about the member of the political party, RP Singh. politicians turn around and say proper legal judicial procedures are taking place. This is... when it comes to... Uh, this, no, 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 I'm sorry, R.P. Singh. Can be lightning no, no, R.P. Singh. When it comes to their own, R.P. Singh. They always resort no, no, to the argument. No, no, one second, one second. Proper legal procedures yeah, No, no, one second. Padma, Padma Rao, Padma Rao. No, I mean, I'm Padma surprised. Padma Rao, a minute, Padma Rao, a minute. R.P. Singh, you may disagree with uh, Aruna Roy. A lot of people disagree. I've, I've disagreed with all, so, so, so many issues. You may disagree with Padma Roy, but you cannot have women activists who are part of the Yatra slapped and beaten by a mob led by a BJP MLA. <coughs> you can't allow that. And by the way, today if Lalu's Sorry, protege's yeah, son saying, goes and goes and does this to a woman or a Rajdani, then I don't know where this country is headed. In fact, Mr. Nitish Kumar, this yeah, is your moment. Exactly. Nitish Kumar must immediately throw out this fellow from the JDU. Nitish Kumar must throw out this gentleman from the JDU. We will build the pressure. SN Upadhyay, yeah. last caller. Last caller. Yeah. Phone lines are buzzing tonight. But I have extended the time limit of the news hour tonight. Mr. Upadhyay, good okay. evening. Good evening. Good evening, Arnav. Good evening, yes, sir. I want to ask one question. Simple question. Hello? Yeah, go on, go on. Uh, one simple question. Before, I think, before 60, 1960, no politician was required in a shadow because he was uh, loyal to the government, loyal to the public and everything. But now present position that all politicians are being followed by the black cat and all these things. Why? Because they are not uh, for country. They are not for the people. Well, the, the... Another, thing, another thing I want to say that when this is the position, uh, this, then you, you are, must have observed so during the last few years that Bihar was developing. But Due to uh, such activities, no yeah. interest, there will be no yeah. interest in development yeah. and again the Bihar will go in the same position, yeah, same I... position like earlier. Okay. Anyway, I, 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 uh, at, this, at this point of time, I take your point. I'm, I'm closing this debate with a promise. Sunil, Sunil Kumar Singh, I'm closing this debate with a promise. Yeah, I, I want to say one thing. Yes. You want to say something? Your party is officially announcing the removal of this what? of yeah, this, I want to, of this I, I, politician. I want to, I want to say one thing yeah. to Mr. Not... Upadhyay, that whatever expectation he has, the, the, the Mahagadbandan government will be totally on remove the this face man. of development. You, if you, if, what Mahagadbandan government? Because what promise? What promise? A, an MLA from the Mahagadbandan goes and makes sexually explicit remarks against a woman passenger. If this is a Mahagadbandan, if the, if, and if this is a Mahagadbandan, I want Nitish Kumar to show the courage to throw out this fellow, he may be Lalu's protege's son, but Nitish Kumar, act, act tonight, the whole country is watching you. 
And we, I am going to end with a promise if, that I'm going to if, follow if, up if each if of these five cases that, tomorrow. Five cases, if required, we will put 50 reporters yeah, on the story. Sure. We will put all our strength and might and investigative skills behind these five stories. Yes, Mr. Reddy, you want to say something? I expected a 42-year-old 42 young leader of your party to be, to be different from what other leaders have been in the past, but he's also been protecting the MP. Yeah. But he's not any different. Arnab, I'm confused here because you are mixing the things that what happened in Bihar, Bengal, and uh, Punjab, uh, Rajasthan. Oh, no, 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 that no, cases no, no. are different than no. this case. This is a political motivated case. In the uh, uh, Chief Minister of the District, Congress. they have a rivalry between MP's father and Chief Minister Chandrababu Naidu Garu. And, uh, 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 out of no, let, let me finish. MLAs. Let me finish this thing. Why How are you interrupting me in center? See, let me see. I kept How quiet for deny? almost one hour. You, let me clear. You, let me clear my are, things. You, you this is not fair. No, your party see, were, yeah, know, I'm not. Time, see, time, let me clear this thing. Mr. Rajshekar, airport officer, went to MP's house. Okay, I'll, okay, 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 Mr. Reddy. Mr. Reddy, we'll follow the case in detail. I think we made our point. I'll, we'll bring you back. We'll have the. We'll have another debate on this. But we are going to follow each of these stories till we feel some justice has been done. Thank you for joining me on debate number two on the news hour tonight. Thank